it's really beneficial having a bubble application that is well organized. And one of the things that I do within my application is label my inputs properly. It just makes building so much easier. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here in my sign up page, I have three different inputs. And as you can see on the name for these inputs, I have input name sign up, input email sign up, input password sign up. Now this is really important because on this page, I also have my login inputs. So if you see down here, I have my login inputs and that's my input email login, input email or password login. Now this allows me to then go into the back end of this application. And when I go to sign this user up, I can simply say, all right, the name and I can see sign up in there. So I know that this input relates to my sign up fields. Because again, I have two different inputs for names on that front end. And I might need to make sure that I'm mapping to the right one. And so just by labeling what these inputs belong to, such as sign up or login, all that kind of stuff, it makes it so much easier for you to build from the back end to the front end and for other developers to come in and to build with you. So it's a really easy tip. It's a really simple tip. But start labeling your inputs like this to make it really easy for once you're on the back end here adding your workflows to find the inputs that you need to map to and to continue build the right way instead of potentially getting yourself into a hazardous situation where you map the wrong input because you had two inputs the same name and then that's not working and then you're like why isn't this working it's all because you didn't label your inputs so label your inputs you'll be off to the races and if you enjoyed this video please follow me for more